Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, today I will show how to check a beam having different shapes of holes inside it. After the construction, sometimes we can see the contractors are making holes through the beams for passing the conduits. In that case, if we want to check integrity of the beam, then how we will check today. I will show that one. We will do it using IDI Statica version 25. Here, let's see the photo first. Here, in one side, this is the beam. The contractor made holes to pass the electrical conduits through the beam. And these two holes were kept as provision before concreting. So, including these two holes and these small holes we need to check the beam if it is safe or not so let's start here we have the dimension or beam section with column and another beam over which this beam is resting we have to check this beam if it is safe or not this beam span length is 5.1 meter and these are the whole positions in the beam so let's open the idea statica software from here go to detail option as the structure has been designed using euro code so we will check that one following euro code so select design code euro code concrete strength of that structure we have found in the design drawing that is 35 mpa we will select that one reinforcement grade 500b and concrete cover 30 millimeter now we will go with the beam with holes click on create in this side we have column width 600 so we will change this one 200 by 600 click on ok in this one supporting beam over which this beam is resting that beam dimension is height is 600 and this side 200 like this and the beam which we will check that one rectangular shape 600 by 200 we can see once in 3d view this dimension we need to change 600 by 200 in length we have to make it 600 because this length is 600 here we will write 0 0.6 okay and for this beam length is 0.35 that is same as our drawing now we will change the openings go to opening one diameter we will make 0 3 30 millimeter position first whole position is this one minus 0 0.41 and from neutral axis above 0 0.12 minus 0 0.41 and 0 0.12 this position and we have to change the beam length also here beam length this one this beam length is 5.1 meter 5.1 like this opening to diameter 0 0.1 and this position will be first we will take in at center line now we have to get the tie bar position because the holes created without cutting any bars any tie bars or any bars the drill they have used solid drill just to make hole for electrical conduits so the position of tie bars will be fixed and except those locations we have to provide the holes so now go to reinforcement bars here this bar i don't need i will delete this one in drawing we found 20 millimeter dia bar number of bar 2 at this layer this okay and gb3 this bar is not there only one layer bar is there in the drawing so we will delete delete this one this one also delete this one we need to keep this one we will delete this this bar same 20 to like this now incline bars there is no incline bars in the 
concreted beam so we will delete inclined bars cases this one for tie bars so this one case we will delete tie bar diameter they have used 8 millimeter dia bar and here the arrangement is like this 100 space 39 into 150 they have used tie bar having uniform spacing all through the beams 150 millimeter like this now this is the beam we have slab on top of the beam 150 millimeter depth leaving that slab depth below the slab the openings or holes have been created so this position is okay now this opening to we will take 0 0.35 position 0 0.1 5 5 2 7 5 3 this one we will make 0 0.03 and minus 2 minus 0 0.2 position 0 0.12 from here we will take little bit right side 1 7 oh, 4 this one we will delete we can copy this small hole and this large hole here this hole we have created it is cutting the tie bars here separating the tie bars here like this we will adjust this hole so that the tie bars can stay same as as per site condition like this we will take same level of top of the holes now for small this hole we will copy this one one now this one three this one four this one we will copy we will take then another one copy 0 0.05 copy 0 0.15 copy 0 0.2 copy 0 0.3 copy 0 0.35 copy Here will be another hole like this this one then another seven after this large hole so these are the holes in our beam now we will assign our support condition left side this one depth will be 0 0.6 and the position of center 0 0.3 like this and this will be fixed this side and this side also fixed now this one right side 0 0.6 0 0.3 this one also fixed now we will go to loading permanent self weight plus line load will be there udl over the member 2 b2 beam m2 beam member 2 we have calculated the load this side slab from this side slab and this side slab this are the data including slab self weight total dead load this one and divided by the beam span length uniformly linear load ULL uniformly linear load for dead load 20.44 uniformly linear load for live load 7.3 here minus 20.44 permanent and variable for live load minus 7.3 ULS combination ultimate limit state this one as per design code service limit state this one and this one now we can go for analysis click on calculate analysis done you can see the result of analysis concrete utilization ratio 
92.9%, reinforcement 64.9%, anchorage 98.1%. Here, anchorage length we have not provided here, that means bending for top bar and bottom bar because we don't know the condition of anchorage length in existing concrete. We have kept straight. So, for analysis or design check, we are in safe side. So, it is okay. Service limit straight result, stress limitation ratio is 96.4%. That means okay. Crack width 96.7%. That is also okay under the limit. If it is crossing 100%, then it will fail. Now we can check the results. This is stress limitation, strength 92.9%, crack width 0.29 millimeter, ultimate limit is 0.3 millimeter, deflection minus 16.1 millimeter. We can generate report, summary, brief results, materials, cross section, explanation, code, and calculation. These are enough for creating report. Click on generate. Report generated. This is stress limitation, principal stress, strain, plastic strain. Compressive strength reduction factor, reinforcement strain, reinforcement stress by strength ratio, river stress, river strain, anchorage, bond stress check, total force in the bar, limit force in the bar, bond stress, concrete stress, concrete stress check, river stress, everything included in the report crack width check deflection and bill of materials also this is actually not required for existing beam it is helpful for new beam design okay so this is the report we can print this one in pdf file this is the report so in this way we can check existing beam with holes using idea statica so thanks for watching stay tuned for more useful important tutorials